their college and university students. I know that there are curious ones that are willing to learn how they can compute for their GPA. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to compute GPA and CGPA. In fact, what is the difference between the two? GPA stands for grade point average, while CGPA stands for cumulative grade point average. GPA can only be computed per semester, while CGPA can be computed for at least two semesters. This means that you have to combine two or more GPA to obtain CGPA. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to compute GPA and CGPA. Let's start with GPA, which can be computed per semester. First of all, you need to tablet your data in this form. We have courses. All the courses you have registered within that semester, you're going to list them here. And write all the grades you obtain, whether it is A, B, O, C, O, F. We have grade points. You know, according to Nigerian colleges and universities, five represent A, four represent B, three represent C, two represent D, one represent E, and zero represent F. So if you scored A, you write five here in that order. We have credit units. You know, each course has a particular unit. Some universities outside the country, they do call it credit hours. You know, uh, some courses may be four unit, three unit, one unit, five unit in that order. It depends on the unit of that course. And we have quality point. Uh, quality point is the product of grade point and the credit unit. So now let us write some courses at random to compute for the GPA. Suppose uh, we are now in first year, first semester, and you registered for Mars 101, for example, Mars 102, 103. Okay, and it happens that maybe your grade here is A, here is also A, you got B here, C, C, just for example. You know, I told you uh, the grade point of A is 5. So this is 5. This is also 5. This is 4. Uh, this is 3. This is also 3. Then the credit units. Suppose uh, this mass 101 is 4 units. Let me write them at random. Suppose this is four units, this is five units, this is three units, this is also three units, and this is two units, for example. Quality point is the product of grade points and credit units. Five times four is 20. Five times five is 25. Four times three is 12. Three times three is nine. Let me write it as zero nine. Two times three, six. So how can we compute for GPA? GPA is equal to the summation of quality points divided by the summation of credit units. So let me even write them like this. Credit units. So where is our credit unit? This are our credit unit. We are going to sum this and sum this as well. We have 20 plus 25 plus 12 plus 9 plus 6. This is equal to 72. So the summation of QP is equal to 72. Then for this, we have 9 here. We have 12 here, 15, 17. I have 17 here, summation of credit unit. Therefore, this will be equal to 72 divided by 17. Okay, 72 divided by 17. This is equal to 4.23529, but remember, GP is written in two decimal places. So we are going to write it as 
4.24. So the student that scored this particular grade within that semester, suppose that student registered for only these five courses, the GPA of that student is what? 4.24. All right? So if this is the GPA of that student, how can that student compute for the CGPA? Can you see this? They are very important. You know, um, a four-year degree course has eight semesters. Therefore, you are going to obtain eight quality points, summation of quality points, as well as eight credit units. So you take the quality, summation of quality point for first semester, you add it to second semester, then you go for first semester, second year, second semester, you add all of those eight summation of quality points together. Then you divide by the summation of all the credit units that student has registered for within those four years. If you divide whatever value you obtain, it's said to be the cumulative grade point average for that student. So this is all about how to compute for GPA and CGPA, but let me give you an instance. First year, we have second year, we have third year, we have fourth year, just for example. Uh, let me write quality points here. Suppose within this semester, first and second semester, first year, the quality points are 63 and maybe 72. In the second year, uh, maybe 54 and 60. Just for example, you know we are going to have eight of them. 70, 73, 63, 50, just for example. So these are all the quality points of 10 per semester. First semester, second semester, first year. Second year, first semester, second semester. Then we are going to add all of these quality points together. And for the credit units, let me come here and write credit units. Let us assume he offered 20 units first semester, uh, maybe 17 again, second semester, 20, 21, 30 units, 31 units, 25, 30, just for example. So we are going to add all of this together and divide by the sum of all of this to get the cumulative grade point average for that student within uh, those four years of study. So let's do that. 63 plus 72 plus 54 plus 60 plus 70 plus 73 uh, plus 63 plus 50. What I have here is 505. 505. Then for this, we have 20, we have 17, we have 20, we have 21, we have 30, 31, uh, 25, and lastly 30. This is 194, 194. Then C, G, P, A is equal to 505 divided by 194. 
So 505 divided by 194, this is 2.6, 2.60. So this is the cumulative grade point average. So there's something I want to share with you again. How can you determine whether you are in first class, second class offer, lower, third class, pass or fail? Let me show you. I have it here already. So if your CGPA is within 4.525, this is considered as first, first class. And anything, three point, is it? 3.5 up to 4.49 is considered as second class upper. Second class upper. And anything um, 2.40, 2.40 down to 3.49. 3.49 this is considered as second class lower and 1.5 1.5 anything within this range up to 2.39 2.39 this is considered as third class third class and we have anything from 0, 0.00 down to 1.49, 1.49. This is considered as fail. So after computing for your CGPA, all you have to do is to classify that CGPA within this range. If it falls here, you are in first class, second class, upper, lower, third class, and third. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.